Welcome to episode 1 of Brianna Came to Believe. After a near fatal overdose, Brianna is preparing to leave the hospital and join a recovery program. Say, who are you? I wasn't expecting any visitors. I am Morton, your friendly neighborhood mortician. They call me the Smiling Undertaker and frankly, I was expecting to find a corpse. A corpse? Sorry to disappoint you, but I am not dead. Got that? Your last little fling with heroin nearly did you in. And I had picked out such a lovely mahogany casket. Oh well. Maybe next time. Thanks to this recent heroin epidemic, my business couldn't be better. There will not be a next time Mr. Smiling Undertaker. I have already taken the first step to recovery by admitting that I am powerless over my addiction, and that my life has become unmanageable. So there. Not so fast. You understand the problem, but what are you going to do about it? What is your plan? What's the solution to your little heroin problem? A solution? I don't know. Aren't there medications that can cure addiction? Don't you wish? Frankly, medical science has no surefire cure for addiction. Until then, I am keeping that pretty mahogany casket in reserve. Are you kidding? If there is no medical cure for addiction, what can rehab do for me? Not much. They will give you a Bible and turn you into a Baptist or a Methodist. Or you might become a Buddhist or a Muslim. Take your pick girlfriend. Religion? Are you kidding? That's the plan? How depressing. Do they think turning me into a little Sunday school girl is going to cure my addiction? Not much of a plan. But I have a better scheme. Grow a backbone. Build up your self-will. Overcome addiction with sheer determination. You can do it chicken little. Got that. And if that doesn't work then what? Like I said, there is a lovely mahogany casket that will fit you like a glove. That's some choice. I can relapse by running on self-determination or I can relapse on religious superstition. My friendly neighborhood drug dealer never told me there would be days like this.